boys and girls, welcome to my show, Lost and Found. I'm your host, Ms. Doe. Today, we are here to remember Lucy and Johnson. And this is my second video today. I want to, I wanted to shoot it too because, um, as I mentioned in my previous video, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. It's a good one. It's a good one. Come on, all of my videos are good. Well, not not good enough, but good. Well, I said that. I am gonna start a new series, which is a surprise because um, it will give a lot of information about me and my life and uh, stuff like this. I don't want to give any spoilers. Just, just wait and see and watch and like and subscribe and support. Show your support. Because I need it, because I need motivation. Really, really, I need it. <laughs> but, however, like I said, I'm gonna prepare a new series and I don't know how to do it. Like, I actually know how to do it, but don't know some stuff. Like, I don't know how to introduce this series to you, or I don't know how should I shoot its video or how should I edit it and stuff like this and I'm also nervous so before uh, starting all those messy stuff I wanted to shoot another video because I want to make you wait a lot so like today and now we are gonna talk about someone whose case belongs to Lost and Found. Lost and Found is also a brand new series, like uh, when compared to our other series. Uh, it has like just a few cases, but I will share more cases for it soon. I, I don't know when, I just have a list and I'm just sticking to the list because I, I love being planned I love planning stuff and I, I was a nerd at school you know so yeah okay let's start Linda Evans was only seven years old when her mother Lucy Ann Johnson disappeared from Surrey British Columbia Canada in 1961. Lucy Ann packed a bag and left the family home, leaving Linda and her younger brother with their father, Marvin Johnson. Before knowing all the details, uh, I'm, I'm just acting like you, like I, I am acting like a viewer. This is, this is bad, you know no matter what the reason is never leave your kids behind because you're a mother you're a mother be a mother linda couldn't recall anything leading up to her mother's disappearance though she knew her father drank heavily and had a temper <sighs> lucy you're a bad mom like and i totally understand that you wanted to leave that man that your husband i don't know if he was your husband though i don't know i don't know but why would you leave your your kids with him don't you love your kids uh. after lucy and left marvin got rid of all of her belongings leaving her children with only a few stolen photographs and fragmented memories. Before you say anything about me being harsh to Lucy, I am being harsh because <sighs> this, this topic is a sensitive and triggering topic for me, leaving your kids. 
I am so grateful for my mother because she decided to give me a life, give me a life and to, to be honest, save my life, save, she saved my life, <sighs> but uh, she had a choice, like she could have left me, she could have left me, but she didn't. And I'm so grateful for her. And since I've been in a similar situation, I, I just I just I just can't help it. I just can't help it. It's just too hard. So hard. So hard for me to talk about. And I'm sorry, but I will not say, oh, Lucy was having a hard time. Her husband or her partner was drinking and was violent and stuff because if he's like this to you he will be like this to your kids too i don't know i don't know i just i just i just see it as a wrong thing linda learned to stop asking about her mother whenever she asked marvin would become Irate ignore his children's questions about their birth mother. When he remarried, his new wife took on the maternal figure's role in their lives, and Marvin forbids his children from talking about Lucy and Linda said that she didn't remember the violent outbursts and was thankful that he never took out his anger 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 on her or her brother. Well that's a good thing. Well that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, my father wasn't like that. In 1965, Marvin finally reported his first wife as missing. Why? Likely because he needed to divorce Lucy and to remarry legally. Okay, the, 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 the reason is just written there. Girl, Blue, are you blind? Yes, I am. Police were shocked when Marvin revealed that the date of his wife's disappearance was 1961. Foul play was immediately suspected and police interviewed neighbors. Someone remembered Marvin digging a large hole in his backyard. Marvin said that he had replaced his septic tank a few years prior. Police excavated the entire backyard, but only found a new septic tank and Lucy Ann's missing persons investigation went cold. Eventually, Marvin was successful in declaring his first wife deceased and was able to remarry legally. Oh, you poor thing. As Linda got older, she still had questions about her mother. She had assumed her mother had died suddenly or murdered in some traumatic event, something to justify why her father refused to talk about the situation. She knew her father had known more on the subject, but no matter how close she got to him, he wouldn't talk about it. In 2015, the Vancouver R RCMP went through all missing person files as part of their Missing of the Month series and reached out to Linda. Linda's father had passed some years ago of natural causes, which stirred, stirred a desire to do some slow thing on her own. She learned that her father had been the prime suspect in her mother's disappearance. She had no idea her mother was a missing person and that her father hadn't reported her missing for four years. She had no idea that for decades there weren't any conclusions about her mother. Though she had never considered her father capable of murdering her mother, she couldn't be sure that he wasn't responsible. Linda decided to take her mother's cold case into her own hands. I love it, Linda. I, 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 con I congratulate you for doing something like this because if you know me, you know that I, I love it when the victim's family does something about their loved one, you know, stuff like this. After so many years, she needed to know what happened to her mother. Linda found her parents' marriage license and found some documents saying her mother lived in Carcross, Yukon. 
she decided to place a personal ad in the Yukon news newspaper saying, I am looking for my relatives. My grandparents' names are Margaret and Andrew Carwell. My mother's name is Lucy Ann Carwell. She was born on the 14th of October 1935 in Skagway, Alaska. She had included an email address to be reached at. While it seemed like a long shot, she had hoped to reconnect with the side of her family that she had never known. She was overjoyed when a woman emailed her recogn recognizing the photo of Lucy Ann that Linda had included in the ad. The woman said she realized it was her mother in the photograph and she believed they might be half-siblings and more shocking, her now 77-year-old mother was still alive. Linda discovered that her mother had gone back to her hometown, remarried, and started a new life. I'm so angry. I'm so angry at you. Lucy Ann went on to have four more children in the Yukon with her new husbands. You shouldn't have kids. You shouldn't be a mother. You're, you're just leaving them. You're just leaving them. Linda began to correspond with her new sister, Rhonda, regularly. Rhonda acted as a go-between for Linda and Lucienne in the early stages of their reconnection. <sighs> Lucienne explained that it was the abusive relationship with Marvin that forced her to leave. She said that she had attempted to bring her children with her, but Marvin wouldn't let her. Find a way, find a way, just, just find a way, fight for your kids. She went with what she could carry and never looked back nor made any other attempts to connect with her children. Linda's brother had passed in his early 20s and sadly wasn't able to join Linda in meeting their new siblings. Linda did eventually meet with her mother and has decided to forgive her. I don't think I would forgive her if, if she was my mom. I don't, I don't know because I, I'm not in the same situation, but like I said, I was in a similar situation and if my mom made a different choice, then I, I wouldn't forgive her. I wouldn't because I didn't ask to be born and they decided to bring me into this world. So they are responsible for my life and yeah. She disagrees with her mother that it was the only thing to do in this situation but is willing to put the past aside and move forward with building a relationship while she can. Marvin Johnson is no longer a suspect in his first wife's disappearance. When Cover RCMP was able to close a cold case, nothing it isn't typically how cold cases go. After so much time had passed, no one had any idea how Lucy Ann had gone undetected for so many decades. Lucy Ann claimed that she was never missing nor was hiding and that officials had every opportunity to reach out to her. What, what the f fork? Like, is that all? Really? I... I have no right to judge her, but I do, but I do, because this, this is so wrong. Well, children are so special for me, and, uh, no, I, I shouldn't say this. Um, children are so special for me. For some reason, and when their parents don't do their work as a parent, I just get so mad. I just get so mad because the kids don't deserve that. And I don't know. I just, no, I shouldn't say that either. I don't want you guys to judge me, but you can judge me because like 
I'm behind my word. I just think like this. I just think like this. I've been in a similar situation and I know how hard it is. Um, I don't know. Linda decided to forgive her mother. I, I don't think I, I, I would do the same. I could do the same because when you're when you get a heartbreak it's just not that easy to heal it well uh, these are all, all i'm gonna say because I, I have no words i have no words this is just so bad and i i'm sad i'm sad i'm sad and that's all like i mentioned before the next video hopefully will be the introduction video of our new series stay tuned for it if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel and be a part of my family i care about my family so if you become a member of my family then you will get my attention you will get respect you will get everything from me you will get my love so do it and like my videos because why not why not do it and and maybe you you can share my videos with your loved ones so that you can make theories together that would be amazing that would be fun and yeah yeah Yet to die. Have a life, love stars. Till then.